down to this direction, both yeah. of you. That's it. Oh, to this one. <laughs> yeah, this one, the old man, yeah, that's it. Give me a patience. Hang on, gentlemen, just to this one. Right. That's it. Okay, that's great. And towards me again. Just right here. That's it. Good training. Lift him up a bit higher. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, you must think he's late. He is. Swap it around the other way. Yeah, you sure? Yeah, swap it around the other way. Swap it the other way, Tim. Frank, if you hold him now. Big smile. Well done. Swing around this way, Jack. Okay. This one's out. Swing around this way as well. Frank and Trust, please. No, no, it's around this way. That's it, lovely. That's it. At me now. At me now. Okay, just at me now. It's just over here now. At me, at me now. Right. Over here, and this way now. Thank you. And this way. 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 And this I want the European government. Well, 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 Lovely. Thank you. Alright, thank you. Great. Who else have you thought as an amateur that would have heard of? Tyrell Biggs. Oh yeah, of course he beat you in 84. In 84, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever been stopped? Like a knockout? Yeah. No. Never been knocked out. Okay, there's the roll. Right. Lennox, the big question everybody's asking is why on earth have you come back to this country and not stayed in America where all the big fights and promotions are? Uh, I guess the first reason is because I'm from here and it kind of intrigued me to win the British title and then hopefully go for Europe, European title and then take it from that way instead of going to America. What's it like coming back to this country? Because uh, you left when you were quite young. It's uh, quite exciting, it's really exciting. I was actually looking forward to it. But you come back here to an English winter, and that can't be too thrilling. Oh, well, living in Canada, you know, there's no experience like that winter. I mean, that winter over there is like really cold. Now, I've heard that you do lots of other sports, or have done in the past. Just what sort of things can you tell us about? I'm what you call a, just a jock in America, <laughs> or in Canada, for instance. I play basketball, football, soccer, ping pong, there's everything. You've got to sort out a first opponent or whatever your, your manager has. Uh, have you any thoughts in mind in that way? Uh, I'm going to leave that up to Frank Maloney you know, to look after, you know. I've signed a contract with him if I, you know, giving him that trust. Now one person you have met in sparring is Mike Tyson some years ago. I've spied with Mike Tyson before the 84 Olympics when he was virtually unheard of. I mean, nobody really knew about him. It was funny, first going in there against him, you know, the bell rang for our first sparring session and just runs across the ring and he just comes right after me. So, being fast on my toes like I am, I just moved away and, you know, we had a pretty good sparring for a week. He must be the name that's in front of you. Because people have said that in two or three years' time, you're the man who could take Tyson. Yes. <laughs> Do you think that's possible? Oh, I agree with it. I agree with it totally. But people have said he is unbeatable. The only thing that might beat him is time. Oh, I don't believe that. I don't believe anybody's unbeatable. I mean, I believe I have the style to beat Mike Tyson. Uh, the only thing that worries me is that he's going to self-destruct and destroy himself before I get there. But you've got to build up to meet him. I mean, there could be British opponents. What about meeting Frank Bruno, Gary Mason, who's the British champion? Uh, well, I'm not, I'm not really worried about them. It's time for the young guys to take over. What about 
fighting for this European title, the British title first. Is that in your mind or is it just purely the world you're going after? No, the world, I set goals for myself and those are part of my goals. It would, you know, I'm a, I'm a person that likes to conquer things. And the British title I would like to conquer and the European title I would like to conquer also. How much has winning that gold in Seoul in the Olympics the biggest thrill so far? It's really big to me. Uh, it is one of my goals. Actually, my second goal I set for myself. My first goal was the World Junior Championships, and my second goal was the Olympic Championship, and I, and I achieved that. I also set a couple of other goals, and you'll probably find out about them in the future. Well, I think it's quite a, a gift for Britain to find out uh, that the Olympic super heavyweight champion was actually born in this country. And uh, I think everybody's quite delighted to see you over here. What's the reception been like so far? It's been great. I feel that England has the best fans in the world. They're just really enthused about boxing. And is there just a few little things about this country, maybe food, maybe, uh, who knows, music or whatever, that uh, particularly attracts you, you really enjoy coming back to? Uh, I would say the music really attracts me. I like, I like British music. I'm into, uh, <laughs> I'm into all types of music. And also that my brother lives here too. So you're back. Best of luck while you're here. Thank Just you do a quick much. couple of two shots. Give me a couple of different